Here we go. You see me? I see you. We are recording. I'm gonna sit down. My dog might bark as well. Yeah. Tina Shock, how are you? I'm okay. Thank you so much for doing this. I cannot tell you how much it is a privilege okay. and a pleasure to talk with you. Sure, sure. The last time I saw you, Gina Shock, 1982, at the Capitol Center in Landover, Maryland. Yes. And you and a band called the Go-Go's, you and four of your best friends, yes. were playing with the band I Love, The, the police. 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 That was 41 years ago. Yeah. Gina Shock, where did the time go? It's crazy. I mean, it's going so fast. It's frightening. I feel like I feel like the band just got together uh, with five or six years ago. It's nuts. I don't know. I don't know where the time goes, but it is. Yeah, just a few years ago, we were doing tunes, and now here we are. I know. But but we haven't, here's the key, we haven't aged, which is nuts. I feel the same. Um, and, you know, I, my, I've held up my, I don't look like I'm a thousand years old, um, so I'm, I'm okay. That gig for you would have been like a home gig. Because you're from Baltimore. Yes. Out in Landover, in the snow, my mom drove me and three or four of my best friends from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, to see yeah. the Go-Go's and the police. And I'm not lying when I tell you, it was a life-changing gig for me. I don't know what it was like for you. Um, well, it was really big for me because I was sort of close to my home turf. And I remember that they sent a camera crew from the station in Baltimore, WBAL, I think, or whatever, down, and they videoed me for the news that night. And that wow. was me. And they actually had a segment on there where they uh they 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 sent uh they sent the crew to my mom and dad's home that I grew up with to speak to mom and dad. It wow. was very cool. It was very special. Uh, a lot of my high school friends were there. I, I do distinctly remember that actually. Speaking of mom and dad, one thing that I've been watching, following, is you sort of going home. This is a place that I grew up in, and my father built this place. And, so, and these, these videos that you've posted, you know, is that at your, the house where you grew up? Or is that the beach house? What is that? that? That's the beach house that my father built. I just got back from being in Baltimore for, uh, you know, quite a while since uh, before, yeah, since like Thanksgiving or whatever, uh, quite a while. And, um, it was really good to stay in the house that I grew up in uptown and then go to, to our shore home um, down in Annapolis uh, and stay in the home that my dad built that I spent so much time as a kid. Well, that's the tree that I had this, the uh, swing, the tire swing on that I absolutely loved. It was so fun. I had a swing set over there. And as an adult, um, it feels good, warm and fuzzy and wonderful. Yeah, what, what is it about that that made you want to do those videos? And when I go back to Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, where I grew up, and I, it's wonderful, but it's also a little painful in a way. There's a little, there's something Bitter about sweet. it that it's nostalgic, but it's not all happy because I miss it and I miss my mom. What is it about those trips for you that, that sort of, how does that make you feel? Well, it is, as you said, Alex, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. It, it, it really is. Um, but the truth of it is, is that I get more out of being there than not. So to me, this is what it's all really about. I mean, I'm discovering more about myself and more about the person that I am by coming home. It, when I sleep in the same room that I grew up in, I feel safe and warm and comforted. And um, even though they're gone, I feel their presence there, uh, you know, and, uh, and also down the shore home, we spent so much time down there crabbing and fishing and steaming up crabs and just having f friends and relatives. I, I, I try to just look at the positive good things about it because um I, I just make that choice. That's my personal choice, you know? That's so cool. I'm in Ellicott City, Maryland, not far from Baltimore. Right. How does a girl from Baltimore end up in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? How did you pull this uh, off, Gina Shock? Um, a lot of hard work. Um, you know, 
hokey as it sounds, dreams do come true. If you stay focused on that, you'll, you'll come across many obstacles along the way, but stay focused, believe in yourself. Don't let anybody, you know, put you in a hole and make you feel like you can only do this or you can only do that. And maybe you can't, maybe you can know in your heart that you're going to, you're going to shine. You're going to get to the top. You're going to make it. I mean, that's the way I always felt when I left Baltimore to go to see, uh, to go to LA. I was like, the next time you see me, I'm going to be a rock star. And I was, and it's I, I, I hokey as that is too, but it's true. I mean, I left Baltimore absolutely believing that I was going to make it in LA. Now that of course is when you're a 20, 21 year old kid, you know, uh, you know, the folly of youth. Uh, but, but nevertheless, sometimes these, these things actually happen and I'm proof. Um, uh, focus, focus, keep your dream. It's crazy you should say that in that way. I had the privilege, I've worked in television and mostly in sports, well, frankly, all in sports, but I'm a drummer and I love music. And I got to interview Stevie Nicks a few years ago. And I said, how do, you, how do people do this? I wanted to be either a pro athlete or a rock star. I'm neither. You made it. You just alluded to this, but what do you tell folks, young folks, folks of any age, how to sort of chase what you want? What, what is your, your message to folks? I just, like I said, I always tell everyone to hold on to your dream. It's precious. It's important. And you know what? You can do it. I did. I'm just a kid from, from Baltimore that, that, that left in her father's pickup truck with everything she owns in it and went to Los Angeles with a dream. But I, perseverance, man, I never stopped. I, I was very focused um, and I, I, I knew what I wanted to do. And now I'm going to, and as much as I'm saying that, there certainly is an element of luck involved here. You know, right place, right time. Timing is everything. You don't know how that happens or why everything works when it's supposed to in that way. Um, but but you, it's got to start with you. It's got to come from you. That's where you start. And that's where you end. So that's wonderful. You, that's you, wonderful. you, can, you can do it. If I can do it, any, anybody can do it, I, I believe. It's, it's attainable. If you could have seen me when I was 15, I was in a band and uh, we had three girl singers. We played a bunch of police tunes because they could hit those notes. We played a bunch of U2 tunes. We played the entire, behind me, by the way, is my copy of Beauty and the Beat over my, that would be my left shoulder. We yes. played everything. We did This Town. We did Skid Marks. We did, what is it? You can't walk in your, can't talk in your sleep if you can't sleep. What? Yeah. We did the whole thing. How often does it dawn on you the impact you've had? I, I've been I've been uh, encountering that a lot lately because uh, I put myself out there and I'm doing um, you know like these shows, these Comic Con shows, um, and also my book signing. You know, for my book Made in Hollywood, um, I'm going out there and I'm meeting fans, and I'm hearing a lot from them uh, how I influenced them, how, or how the Go-Go's, the impression that we left on them influenced them uh, in many ways. And it's really, it, it's, it's a really, it's really joyful experience. It's really absolutely cool to have, to be face to face and you see it and you feel it, the impact you've had on these people. And it's blows my mind, but mu music is so powerful, Alex. It is so powerful. It crosses every line, you know? Uh, it, it, there's no color. There's no, there's no, you know, faith. It's, it's all, it's all, it's an individual thing and it, it crosses all the lines. I'm going to, when we're done this, uh, it's only, it's later here because you're in, uh, San Fran. I'm going, I'm in a band. I'm still in a band and I'm, I'm going to, in honor of you, I'm going to see if I can get through some. Okay, Gina, here goes. Let's see if I can do this for the first time essentially since 1982 or so. I couldn't stand doing We Got the Beat because my right leg at age 15 was so tired that I would cheat and use the floor tom. And I'm like, I'm not really doing it like Gina's doing it. I still can't do it like you can do it. 
Wow. Um, you know what's so funny, Alex, is a lot of a lot of drummers will and, and I just like couldn't believe it, will ask me, Oh, how do you play that? And uh, to me it's the simplest thing in the world, but a lot of people would play it on their floor tom. That's not and, what you were doing, correct? No, it's no, kick I'm, drum, right? I'm playing it on the kick. It's you know, do, 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 on the kick drum, kick and snare, kick and snare. Um, and I just, I'm the type of drummer that I play for the song. I play. I'm all about the song. I'm not about, hey, look at my latest trick I can do and all that. I don't care about that. I never have. I want to elevate that song. What I put in there should make the song better. And that's the way I've always looked at things. And when when Charlotte started playing that eighth note thing, and the bass eight, and the Kathy with the boom, 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 it just it I automatically my body made that movement, and I just followed it. <laughs> I will let you in on uh, my favorite Go Go's tune is "This Town." I so love it. Where our daughters love that tune, "This Town." I heard it on Sirius XM the other day, and I knew we were doing this, and I was like. I'm going to talk to Gina Shaw. Anyway, Gina, thank you so much. I, hey, I cannot you know what, you. Alex? I want to tell you something. This Town is one of my favorite songs, and I love playing that song. Why? Because uh, it's really, it's, it's dramatic. It's very dramatic. It sort of pulls you in. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that little thing you do with the little, um, the little hi-hat bit, they're still very subtle. And yeah. um, there's something about that tune. It pulls you in. It's it sexy, it too. There's something sexy about it. Ah, cool. That's good. Sexy's always good, Alex. Always. How often do you get behind a drum kit? Well, nowadays? I actually, um, I'm getting ready to do some shows. Um, I'm going to start really practicing now. I've got a lot to do. I'm going to uh, uh, go out and do some. Um, I've, I've got a, a group of uh, musicians that I've been working with um, back east in Baltimore and we're going to do some shows. I'm going to I'm actually in the process of figuring out what songs I'm going to do. I'm going to sit behind the drum kit and play and I'm going to go out front and sing. So I'm going to do go-go songs. I'm going to do house of shock songs. I'm going to do songs that I've written for other people like Miley Cyrus and Selena Gomez. And I'm going to do some of my material, which I haven't played in a long, long time. And even newer songs that I've written. I'm going to, I, I, you know, I was like, Oh God, what am I, what songs am I going to play? And then I thought, Jesus, I have a ton of material to choose from. That's so I'm so going cool. to put it out there and I'm going to do it. I'm going to sing. Uh, I'm going to play drums. It's going to be fun. I'm assuming that there will be a stop near Baltimore. I'm assuming. Well, I I'm doing uh, actually, what date? I've got my calendar in front of me. Hold on, baby. Um, March the 24th, I will be playing the Hard Rock, Inner Harbor. And uh, it'll be a book signing. It'll be, you know, autographs, photos with me. Um, also you'll, you'll be able, you'll have access and be able to buy some of my photos from the book, the photo exhibition. Um, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do some, some music as well. Uh, probably play, uh, I don't know. I got a lot of songs to choose from at okay. least 10 songs. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be interesting because it's going to be so much happening. You know, uh, it'll be an in conversation with meeting me talking about the book, playing my music, and interacting with the crowd. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. And then, oh, we're, I'm doing a show at the Stone Pony in New Jersey. There you go. Yeah. So I'm setting stuff up. You know, it's a little scary, uh, but it's like, hey, it's what I do. <laughs> so I'm going to get out there and do it. Gina, thank you so much. A pleasure and a privilege. 41 years ago, I was watching you, and here we are. And um you're an inspiration to me and countless others. All the best on your travels. All with right. Your stuff. Well, look, I hope, we, I hope you come to see me play or something. Bring your book and I'll sign it for you. I'll be there. I will be there. All right. Gina, Thanks all the best to you. Take care. care. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Bye. -bye.